Nico, Gary's in a board meeting, so it's a treat to have you for a change. <laughs> um, Leighton Orient this weekend, and it, you know, it's part of a bigger celebration, 20 years of supporter ownership. You've been at this club for quite a few years now, and I just want to gauge your thoughts on, on the Supports Trust and what a, a fantastic occasion this is for everyone involved with Exit City. Yeah, I, I was lucky enough to be at the, uh, at the dinner uh, a couple of nights ago, and and the video that went up, I think that, that, that says it all. I mean, from, from where the club was, so many people that have been involved in getting it to where it is now, I think is an incredible achievement at, at any football club. Um, you know, every, every fan of every team in the country, you know, will say that their club is special, but I think it is a bit different here. Um, and the pride and the passion and the, the work that's been put in, the the, the bigger vision, the goal to, you know, the building that we're sat in now, the AstroTurf down on the pitch, everything has, has come over time, well planned, well structured. Um, and the biggest thing for me, having been here for a few years now, is the understanding throughout the club as to as to who we are and what we do. There's, there's more than winning three points on a Saturday is, is vital at any football club, but you can win in more ways um, in football. You can win in the community, you can win with your youth, you can win with how you treat the fan base and how involved they are. Um, you can win by building something over time and not always being so short term. And I think this club epitomises all of that. We're starting to see a, a real togetherness amongst the squad and also they're sharing these moments with the supporters. And that sort of epitomises what this club is all about, is, is the togetherness between the players and the fans. Yeah, definitely. And, and I think the, the players that come here, we make sure that they're very aware of what they're coming into. I think um, in the modern world, the players do their research and they know uh, the kind of club that they're going to come, come and be involved in and, and what's going to be expected of them. Um, and then it's, uh, it's very much up to, to them to settle in, um, understand that it's a, it's a process that we're going through to get where we want to get, but also... Um, it's vitally important that they come in and get to work on the very next thing that they can affect. And, uh, and hopefully for us, that's uh, giving Leighton Orient a good game on Saturday. And that Leighton Orient game, of course, like you say on Saturday, we go into that game, I know league positions don't mean anything really at this stage, but it's kind of poetic that on this anniversary weekend, we go into it in our highest ever league position. You're right, it means nothing. Um, it's about us, what we can do this week, how we can prepare to try and be a good team. Um, you know, I, I want the fans to have an amazing day. I want them to have a, a, a fantastic um, game to watch. I want them to know that the lads have been at it all week. They've been putting in the work. Um, they've been prepping like their life depends on it. And, and that is the thing for us. Like, as much as we want to be proud of where we've come from, as much as it's great to be here at this time now and be a part of what's going on, the most important thing for, for us as staff and for the players is the game itself, making sure we put on a show, making sure the lads go out there well prepared, ready to try and win against a good team. I imagine, given that we've been playing how we've been playing, the management and the players must have set such a, a high standard of themselves. How do you ensure that you know, they, they try and keep up to their standards? Because we know we can be better. You know, like it, it, it's. It's fine talking about how we've been playing, but Burton hit the bar after 90 seconds on Saturday, and that could have meant things are a whole lot different. We've we've got to set our standards higher. We've got to know that there's a whole lot of room for improvement. Um, yeah, you know, be happy with some of the stuff that we've done and continue to do that. But there have been numerous uh, occasions in the games that we've played where things have maybe gone our way a little bit, and on another day they may not have done. And, We've got to try and take the mystery out of that. We've got to try and take chance away from it by being the best prepared, hardest working, um, most focused team in this league. And as you say, you, you, you're six games in, it doesn't matter where you are in the league. And none of that stuff matters right now. It's, it's just about trying to beat Lane Orient. We know that Ville and Immy are away with Finland and we wish them the best of luck. Um, in terms of squad availability for other players, is, is there any players we might be concerned about for this weekend? No, they've been in a really good place. I say they've, they've worked really hard. We're happy with, um, with the lads themselves and, and we'll go out there today, make sure that they, they work hard again. They get, start to get some tactical information about what might be coming and, uh, and we're happy that we've got everything we need to go out there and, uh, and put a good game on. And where do you see Leighton Orient's biggest threat coming from? They've got a bit of everything. They've got experienced players, they've got a, a manager who understands and knows the league. They've got guys that, you know, they, they obviously did incredibly well to, 
to smash League Two last season. Uh, they were pretty dominant throughout, and um, and so I think they're one of those teams that once they find their feet in League One and once they they click and understand, like we did last year, it takes you a while to see the differences of the level. But they've got lads that have been there, seen it, and done it, um, and I think they're going to be a, a, a real threat because. They're going to come, and they're not going to get put off by any of the things that are uh, the celebrations and the the occasion itself. They're just here to cause an upset and try and beat us, and, and we've got to be ready for that. I seem to recall over over the years we've had some brilliant games with with Leighton Orient as well. So hopefully this will be an, another one just the same. Well, again, it's uh, <laughs> just for us to make sure that we go out there ready to go. In terms of the support this season, it's been we touched on it at the start with, with the togetherness of the players, but it has been absolutely outstanding and, and tickets going really well for this one again and the supporters I think we've seen this particularly in the early this season have just been absolutely fantastic yeah at home and away I think the the fan base itself uh, like we touched on earlier as we were talking that they, they understand what we're trying to do they understand the club they understand some of the constraints and, and that we we work with but they also understand that um, they're a big part in everything that we do on and off the pitch and it has been amazing to um, to see the smiles on those faces. It's been amazing to be a part of that, but it can change quick. So it, it goes right back to making sure that we're ready for late in Orient so that those guys have got something else to, to cheer and clap as the, the lads go out there and hopefully represent them as they want to be represented. Uh, just finally, we saw Jack Fitzwater come in at the start of this week. Do yourself, Gary, Marcus, are you, are you working on bringing in any other free agents over the next week or two? We've... we've We've got stuff out there, we're having a look at what is available, we're not going to do anything rash, we're not going to make any, um, um, I suppose, rushed decisions, um, but at the same time there's some good players out there that are unattached right now, and so it's, uh, it's up to us to highlight those that we think might um, have the biggest impact with us, those that we can help develop and we can help get back to maybe the potential that they've got. And, um, and yeah, it's, it's always quite exciting with things like that because you never know what you might find. Thanks a lot.